Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Well, I think that broccoli. Anyway. Ooh, three tomato plants. And over here, I think that's broccoli too. Hmm. And then we got, uh-oh, the melon plant. We left for the weekend and Kitford didn't see it. I think he watered everything else but it. That's okay. It was free. And two more nice healthy tomato plants. Oh no, don't ask me what variety. They were, uh, I think they were cherry tomatoes, but uh, those were volunteers. Now this is another kind of squash or melon. It's got a nice little flower on it. Okay, I don't know what's in there. <laughs> and another tomato plant. You notice all around these trees they drop this stuff all year long and the ground is covered like that I just got to thinking that's a, a little acidic anyway this one's gone I think that's a marigold weeha we're trying for the bees now we have a couple little I don't know if you can catch them in here I have no idea what any of these are I think that one over there is carrot but it's got one skinny skinny dark green skull and it's still alive and then we got this one don't know what it is looks like three of them four of them and another real nice tomato plant this one's been sitting up high oh looky here that's pretty nice and then we got oh man this is great this I love this it's nice just pick off a piece of lettuce. Nice and juicy. You can tell if it's got it over water or under water. Now anyway, right here. Looks we got a bunch of little bees. Whoa, yeah. They usually don't bother me. I water. Some of them float. A couple buzz by me. Then they're gone. Never got stung yet. I think that was basil trying to come up and I think they're eating it. But anyway, this is, uh, <laughs> you tell me. And that's some more. You tell me. Looks just like it. I've got some kind of melon over here. I think uh, maybe it's getting too much water. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Call that Exhibit L. <laughs> Don't know what that was. And this. <laughs> and we got this. That's a melon. I'm thinking... Well, there we go. Don't know what that is. Uh, call this Exhibit M. Anyway, and everybody knows what this one is. We bought a couple plants. Then we bought a couple more. Put a little more dirt in, put it to the top. I still think I need to put dirt all the way to the top in here. So I think I'm going to do that next. But anyway, yeah, we've got a few strawberries. Nice big ones. There wasn't very many of them, though. Anyway, there you go, guys. Tell me if I'm doing good or not. Once in a while, a little bit of mir miracle grow. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Oh, yeah. And that little guy right down here below the big tomato. Oh, yeah, by the way, I hit a ladybug a while ago, and I s stuck it on a branch that would hold it up. Now I've got one on the same plant right here. I hit the ladybug and said, oh man, what am I doing? But anyway, <laughs> I said, well, I put it up there, maybe more will come, and it worked. But down here is the other one. I believe that's a melon. Yeah, that's a melon. Some kind of melon or squash. Somebody knows what that is, like Verlison or whoever, let me know. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours.
Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Let's see here, I don't know if you can see it dead center and just a little off to the right. This was something that died due to the drought and uh, me being away from the house about a week at a time. Don't know what we had in there, but it seems to be coming back. It's fall and it's starting to get a little chilly at night. But anyway, I figure I'd still give it a chance. Here, sure looks like okra. Where's the rest of the leaves? Well, I got a few right there. Hmm. <laughs> we just moved everything down here to where it's more into the sun. Now that it's got a little rain and all that stuff, everything seems to start growing. There's a couple more little volunteers coming back. I don't think you can see them on here. This was a begonia or something for my wife. Sure had a pretty flower on it earlier. Well, look up here is one of my tomato plants in the bucket garden. I love looking at the leaf structure. Well, see the generator in the background right here. Well, you look down here, I've got a mess of tomatoes. First time on this plant all year long. There was one on it yesterday that was nice and red. Like I said, we just moved these. This plant here, this was string beans. It died out. The heat got to it. But it's still got a cage, and I drape all of these up over it. And I look all over this. This plant did pretty good. Now this is another plant right here. I've got a few tomatoes right there. Take a look all over here. Got one up here. One right there. Got one laying down in the bottom, begging to be a volunteer for next year. It's got one right here. And right there is a whole nice cluster of them. I think that's quite beautiful. Then we got a few down in here, a few down in here. I've got a total of three tomatoes all year. <laughs> now that it's fall and fixing to get close to winter and frost, we finally start seeing a mess of tomatoes. We're watering it good. A well, uh, a well watered garden grows a lot. You can tell these are a lot of the tomatoes have fallen off or the blossoms did. We've got some more here. Here's my broccoli. I was wondering why it didn't look like broccoli all year. But then I come to find out it's a it's a fall and winter crop. Oh well. It's getting it's getting huge. It's big. I pulled a few of the leaves off and eaten them. Oh, there's one. Almost red. Got that nice orange look to it. These are two that broke off of one of these other plants when we moved them. I've got more than half of this system where there are a whole, look like a whole bunch of tomatoes that dropped off. I put some root stimulator on them and stuck them in a new bucket. And the same over here with this piece. This piece actually goes all the way down to the bottom. I cut about an eighth of an inch uh, I cut the leaves off and left about an eighth of an inch next to the stems and put root stimulator on those and got this I got a nice one right there we done this last night well here's another broccoli plant I don't think we're supposed to leave these red leaves on here <clears throat> I don't know if it's good but I eat them this was some bird seed. Had a squirrel kept uh, coming out here. I left some bird seed in the bottom of a bucket. They started to sprout, so I threw some dirt on it. It's still growing. Maybe we'll grow some bird seed. And here's my lettuce. This died out completely. I kept watering it religiously. Anyway, <laughs> I kept watering it. And uh, finally, all of a sudden, I started seeing a few sprouts come out after almost about a month. So the heat had killed it, and there wasn't nothing I could do about it, and now it's all coming back. I used to come by here and pick about two or three of the leaves off every day and just munch them while I was taking care of the garden. Over here, more volunteers coming back from something that died out, and I have no idea what it is. Well, there's the upside-down Sterling engine. It's been out here since I put the Fresnel lens on it. I need to actually bring it in, spend five minutes, and get it going. That might be another video here this week. A uh, windmill to repair. Once I get a little bit of a wire welder over here to finish up, I'd like to put this up and put a 
A little plate on the back and some magnets making an axial flux. A couple of antennas to play around with. Well, over here, I think this is squash. Uh, pretty sure it's squash. This died off about four months ago. Well, we took a trip, paid a kid to uh, water our garden, and he missed this, and when we came back, it was all dead. Well, here's another tomato plant. It's got a few tomatoes. Most of them are down there. There is a mess of tomatoes on this plant. Matter of fact, this is where the other one broke off from. We had to put a bucket over here to support this limb because it's got a whole mess of them. And this little plant right here. This stayed in my window all winter. We started it last spring and it went through the winter and came out here and it was only two inches tall at the beginning of the summer. Well, anyway, now it's grown up, it's about six inches tall <laughs> and almost two years old now. I'm uh, hoping next year it's going to be really kicking. Well, that's about it. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Sorry this video is so <laughs> short. Oh yeah, and uh, strawberry plants. We've got a total of four strawberries out of it this year. We have the strawberry plants coming out of each and every hole. These are the last two. usually don't bother me. I water. Some of them float. A couple buzz by me. Then they're gone. Mm -hmm.